Specifically. The Channel View pom pom mom, Wanda Webb Holloway, wanted her daughter to be a cheerleader. Police say she wanted that so bad she would have killed for it. Her story comes to Channel 13 this Sunday as a made for TV movie. But Holloway's alleged murder for hire isn't the first time a Houston crime has gone Hollywood. Our Alvin Van Black tonight takes a look at murders, mysteries, and movies. There is little doubt that the most famous movie made about murders here is Murder in Texas. It shows up frequently on TV stations across the state. There are many scenes in it that are still recognizable. Dr. John Hill lived in a big house on Kirby. This is the house today. The pine trees and the bushes are taller, and there's a new fence. The famous music room is still there. It's the actual scene. Murder in Texas, the amazing story of the mysterious death of socialite Joan Robinson Hill and the doctor's alleged murder confession of that deed to the second Mrs. Hill, Ann Kurth, wound up in her book called Prescription Murder. It was made into a TV movie as the famous Murder in Texas. Tommy Thompson's blockbuster number one selling book about the incidents was called Blood and Money. It had everything any book could want murder, passion, and the very rich in Texas. It was nearly a dozen years ago when Vicki Daniels was arrested in Liberty. It's a little town just to the east of Houston. She was charged with the murder of her husband. He was the speaker of the Texas House. All I can tell you is that Price Daniels Jr. had deceased. His body's on the way to Ben Tov at this time to form an autopsy. He'd been shot in the face with a 22 caliber rifle. Vicki Daniel remains sedated and under a doctor's care at the local hospital. Daniels, can you tell us what No comments. Right. Channel 13 reporter Elma Barrera covered this famous trial. Her testimony consisted of a tearful account of the night of the shooting and long, drawn-out details of four years with Price Jr. The shooting of the former Speaker of the Texas House, son of a former governor of Texas, Price Daniel Sr., made national news. In the end, Vicki Daniels was found innocent. A book was written about the case called Deadly Blessings. Then came a made-for-TV movie shown earlier this year. There is another movie about a killing here in Houston that you may have only seen once, at the most twice, because it only ran twice. Chances are very good it won't run again because it's terribly controversial. It is the killing of Randy Webster. <laughs> It's the story about the theft of a van, of a police chase, and of throw-down guns. I told Chief Dunn at the time that I felt certain that the gun was planted on him. There have been a number of crimes that have occurred here in the Houston area that people have asked, why didn't they make a movie about that? We'll tell you about some of those tomorrow. I'm Alvin Van Black, 13 Eyewitness News. Tune in to Channel 13 Sunday night for the true life story of a mother's deadly determination, willing to kill the Texas cheerleader story. That Sunday.